Welcome back to Mrs. Zell's SOL Review. Today we are talking about data and making comparisons and predictions and inferences using information displayed in graphs. Today's SOL is 8.13. We're going to be talking about graphs and scatter plots. Scatter plots, as you know, we did an activity with measuring our arm span and height, and you know that a positive trend as one increases, the other increases. A negative trend, you have one increasing and one decreasing, and then no correlation or no trend is where the, the points on the graph are scattered. So looking at number one, the hourly wages of 25 employees at the restaurant. A lot of students got confused with this one because you have 25 employees, which means you have 25 wages. I think that's where the confusion was because you have eight employees that made $8 an hour. So eight employees times $8 an hour gives you 64. You have, let's see, 10 people, 10 people that made $9 an hour, which gives you what? 90. And then you have six people that made $10 an hour, that gives you 60. And then you had one person that made $20 an hour. So that would give you 20. So I think that's where the confusion was. So be careful because look and see how many people you're dealing with. So then once you added that all up, you would have gotten 234. And then you need to divide that by 25 because 25 employees. So your answer is nine dollars and 36 cents number two um, the graph shows Anna's height on each of her last five birthdays based on the graph between which two consecutive years was the increase in Anna's height the greatest so if you look between 10 years old and 11 years old the increase was much higher than all the previous years so the answer is C all right, number three, the graph shows the number of text messages two students sent each day for four days. It cannot be A, the correct answer is B. The total number of text messages sent by Kayla was the same as the total number sent by Paul for these four days. Number four, you had to do a little math. This circle graph talks about items that were sold at a football concession stand. You need to know that there were 450 total items, so you should have that written down. How many more nachos, nachos is 16%, how many more nachos were purchased than popcorn? Well, popcorn is 10%. You can do this problem a couple of different ways, but one way or a quick way is to take 16% minus 10%, so the difference is 6%. So the difference is 6%. Now we have to figure out what that is. So then you could take 6%, which is 0, or 0 0.06, times 450, and your answer is... 27. All right, next page. We're going to continue the same SOL. Number five, we're talking about a scatter plot. Shows Marvin's age and the time it took him to run a mile. As Marvin age increases, it took him to run it decreased. So the answer is B. As one increases, one decreases. Number six. Mr. Robert took a survey of his sixth period class to determine what breeds of dogs the students have as pets. The results are shown. So what you needed to do first was write your numbers up here. This one was eight. 
uh, poodles two, terriers four, bulldogs three. So you had to write those numbers down. What percentage of the dogs owned by Mr. Roberts' class are, are a beagle or a terrier? So beagles were three, terriers were four. You have to add those together. So that's where you would get seven. You add them all up together, that's 20. You could put that into a percentage and have it equal something over 100, which would give you 35 over 100, which gives you 35%, or change 7 over 20 to a decimal and then convert that to a percentage. Number seven, here's another scatter plot. These are scores several students received in math and music classes last semester, which statement best describes? It is D. As the math score increases, the music score increases. That is going to give you a positive trend. As one increases, the other increases. Last one, number eight. Obviously, you see the uh, points in the graph that are scattered everywhere, so this is no relationship. That is the end of 8.13. Don't forget to like and subscribe.